What is up guys, Mr. Bazy here, and today we're going to be doing some more Remember Remember. Now, most of you know already that I basically already beat the game, um, but we're going to be going and seeing the alternate endings today. So what I mean by that is we basically have two other alternate endings, uh, and don't worry for those of you that haven't seen it. First of all, I'll direct you to this video right here. Click the little pop out eye. Um, it'll bring you to the playlist of Remember Remember, so you can see the whole thing. The last one in the playlist, um, I guess besides this one, will be the finale of my ending. So if you want to see it, if you haven't seen it yet, go do that. I highly recommend it before watching this video. Uh, but today we're going to be doing the alternate endings. Now, we have a few that are available to us uh, that I believe we can do, okay? I think the only other ones we can possibly do is the one where we say everyone's guilty and the one where we pick the one innocent person and then... Uh, let the others be guilty, okay? It'll be interesting to see how those two other ones pan out. Uh, now, I will be doing some other uh, videos after this, so this is by no means the very last thing we're going to be doing, and if you haven't entered the giveaway yet, please do so, because again, we're, we still have codes to give away, the first of which will be given away at some point during this video, so stay tuned for that, but make sure you drop your comments down below entering the giveaway, because we still have four more codes after the one that gets given away today, to give away to you guys. So the rest of the videos you're going to be seeing, uh, basically the way that I played my initial playthrough on Remember Remember was I spoke to as many people as possible so I can figure out as much information as possible. In the next couple playthroughs that we're going to be doing, um, we're going to be choosing the dialogue options for one person each playthrough. So we're going to go all Xavier, all uh, Lisa, all Rosa, and all Peter, okay? Um, we're basically going to be doing it that way, okay? So we get to see, I guess, the full game. We get to see everyone's dialogue options all the way through and how they end up, you know what I'm saying? It'll be really cool to get some some deeper info on the characters after the fact uh, and maybe find out some stuff we didn't know about during the first playthrough. So I think it's going to be really awesome. And again, remember, the giveaway is going to be done. The very first one, the first code is going to be given away today at some random point during the video. So hopefully you enjoy. So here we go. We're going to skip these things. We already saw these. So that's why I recommend you watch the other video, because we're not actually reading. We're just going to be playing the game. I lower my volume, that's how loud. Okay, here we go. So the very first thing we're going to do, I was going to I was gonna save Rosa, okay? Who is the innocent one here, for those of you that obviously know already. Uh, I was going to save her first, but I think it'll be more interesting to see how she reacts when she's the last one alive. So we're going to say guilty to everyone. Oh my god, I, I feel so bad doing this, you know what I'm saying? Let's just do it. Man, can you imagine? All right, let's see how this pans out. A nut bust right off the bat. What do you know? I just killed all of them. <laughs> I am truly and utterly speechless. You really abandoned them all. And you know what's crazy too? Like... We, we do this knowing full well that Rosa has nothing to do with it. So basically, it just means we're lazy as shit because we didn't want to beat the game. You know what I mean? That's insane, nut bust. <gasps> oh, Rosa. Let's take a gander at that. Man. Rosa, you were the only innocent one. But there was no way that you would look at me the same if I let you live after killing the others. So that's the only reason? Could you imagine? Could you imagine that that be the, if you were in Rosa's position, could you imagine that being the, the only reason that you didn't get saved? Just because you wouldn't look at me the same. So completely disregarding the fact that she has a life, you know what I'm saying? Just because she wouldn't, like, we don't have to be friends anymore. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Man, all the way to the end with those short shorts. Uh, someone, it was funny too, so, someone in the comments called her Camel Toe. I love that nickname. Uh, my one and only true friend. I'm sorry. Damn. So now we're the one that's not the friend. Oh shit. Take a gander at all this, man. Everyone's everyone's freaking getting crossed off, man. Jeez. Good thing that skirt didn't come up anymore. Lisa, I don't care what excuse you had. Oh, damn. You had the chance to take my sister with you and save her, but you didn't, did you? Apologize to her in death. Oh shit. Oh, damn, he looks like he's crying. This is kind of sad. Look at this. That's kind of fucked. <laughs> he's like, no, my weenbees. My balls never, my, my balls never had their feeling returned to them. <laughs> Xavier, you cruel and selfish bastard. You saw my sister and instead of reaching out, you attacked her and made her run off. There is no power in the world that would let me forgive you. You deserve this. Oh, shit, Pete. Damn. 
Look at this. <laughs> Wait, why are, how are his tears actually in the water? That's kind of weird. That's crazy, though. Peter, you abandoned my sister when she needed someone the most. You could have been the one to save her and prevented all of this. To think I called you a friend. Oh, damn. I could never forgive you. Their blood is on my hands. This is a hardcore ending, man. You know, I don't really know how I feel about it, personally. Um, you know, I'm, I'm getting some really bad vibes from it. It's like, it's kind of like evil. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're taking pleasure in this for some reason. I don't know why. It just kind of feels like that. Yet, I... See? I feel nothing. My thoughts are scattered. Like I'm in a vortex I can't control. Despite this, I don't care. I've made my choices, and now I must live with the consequences. It's only fair after what I did to Sarah. So, Chris... As the final game has ended, I shall release you. You better. I've gone through hell and dragged my friends into the void. It has been an absolute pleasure. Oh, I thought I was about to blow up or something. I heard some beep and I was like, I'm about to get crispy. My cheeks are about to be across the room. Not bust. Oh? Not even a goodbye. Fuck you. Fuck everything. Damn. I just want to go. Damn, we're like... What the heck? We're about to be like Max Payne over here. Jeez. Goodbye, Nest. The fuck? This killer butterfly will carry the weight of this place forever. This killer butterfly? Oh my god. Take a gander at that, ladies and gentlemen. Should have kept that shit as a souvenir, man. We were wearing some bling. Should I turn myself in? Should I erase myself from the world? Oh my god, commit suicide? Hell, who knows where this door will lead me. Wherever it takes me, I will walk and bear my cross upon my shoulders until the day I finally die. When hell takes me. Oh, well, that's great. You're just so accepting of that. Cruel end. Blood trail to hell. Jeez. Well, you see, he's so accepting of, of what is probably an eternal shafting. Uh, you know, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments down below, man. That's, that is a hardcore ending. I mean, that's, cruel is, is definitely, um, among the words I'd use for that one. That's pretty crazy. Um, so let's see. Let's see what happens when we save one and not the others. All right, guys. So welcome to the giveaway. The way this is going to work for those of you that uh, are actually kind of new um, to the giveaways I've been doing, I've been doing them the same way. So as you guys know, you've had a new entry opportunity each and every time. So that's why you'll see, or each and every time there's a new video of remember, remember. So that's why you'll see uh, the names, okay, in here. Now, I did go through all, uh, of the previous, uh, remember, remember videos, as I mentioned before, um, in the very first episode, because I didn't have a, a chance to actually announce the giveaway, uh, I've added everyone's names, uh, that, that commented, okay? Um, in the, in the following videos, you did actually have to say, as I mentioned each time, um, you know, that you want to be in the giveaway. Everyone that pretty much, wanted to be in the giveaway. You can see they're in here four times because we ha we've had four videos so far. Um, so that's why there are multiple names in here. So go ahead and pause the video. All right. And make sure your name is in there the amount of times it should be. If it's not, let me know. I'll double check. I'll go through the videos and check, make sure I counted properly. But again, usually I, I do pretty good with making sure everyone is in there and you should have seen comments from me uh, by now, I believe, saying that I've entered you. So with that being said, hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this giveaway. Again, we have five coats to give away. Um... And today is going to be the very first one. We're going to give a, uh, another one away each and every time we do a playthrough. So basically all the bonus content is getting codes. The very first one being the alternate endings. Uh, and then the following uh, four are going to be given away during each route uh, that we take for each particular person. The way we're going to do it is we're going to randomize it. This randomizes uh, based on atmospheric noise. So I don't really know how much more random you could get. Um, but either way, the first place winner when we randomize is going to be the winner. So good luck to everybody. And remember, don't forget to drop your comments down below at, you know, entering again, you can keep entering, uh, even on the bonus videos, you know, that we're going to be doing from here on out. All right. So make sure you do that. This is not the end of entering. You can keep entering. Uh, so here we go. Three, two, one. Good luck. All right, Obsessed Illusionist is going to be the very first winner of a free copy of Remember, Remember. Now, you do have to claim your code in the comments down below. It just allows me to basically know that you saw that you won you know, uh, you know, basically shows me that you watch the video that you, you know, that you're going to be using the code. Basically, if you don't claim it, uh, by the time the next two videos come out, uh, I will have to go ahead and randomize again. 
uh, and pick somebody else. So it's really important that you do that because I just want to make sure that someone's going to use it because we only have five of these, you know what I'm saying? So claim your code in the comments down below. Just say, you know, you won the giveaway. You were the winner of the giveaway, all that stuff. Uh, and then we'll talk about, um, you know, how you want your code uh, being sent to you basically. So we'll, we'll hash that out in the comments down below. So with that being said, let's jump back to the game. Hopefully you guys are enjoying thus far. So here we go. We're almost there. And this is basically the win. So after I do this, I'm just going to go ahead and call guilty. I'm assuming she was the one that got saved because her mouth's the only one that's moving. All right, guilty. Oh man, the other one was intense. So I can't, I can't wait to see what's going to happen here. All right, the ceremonial nut bust. I just killed. Uh, 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 huh? Uh, no! Oh man. Uh, nut bust. We weird, weird time to nut, nut bust. Okay, so we don't care what li excuses Lisa had. We saw this. You had the chance, and she didn't save him. All right, that was the most cruel one, by the way. Like in, in my opinion, like what we said to her was of all the, of all these was the most cruel one like apologize with your death like that's crazy dude <laughs> that's some dark stuff hi hi you're not bus too rosa was the only in only person innocent she was the only person who deserved to live i have no regrets i was charged with judging the group and found the three liars guilty rose is shaking rosa chris why i'd take care of business girl <laughs> Nut bust, okay. Appropriate at this moment, I, I, not really. <laughs> I guess she wouldn't understand. Can I truly blame her? I just killed our friends, her friends. And yet I let her live. Rosa, please try and understand. <laughs> okay, uh, very weird time to nut bust. A meek nod, is she saying yes to assure me? Or will she truly try? Well done, Chris. I would have made the same choice. Hmm. C can we leave now? She just wants to get the hell out of here. She doesn't give a shit about me. <laughs> She's gonna wrap me out, man. Of course, dear Rosa. As I promised, with the final game over, you are free to go. And it's crazy too, because like while this is all happening, she's just watching these people float in the tubes. You know, they're just they're still there. They're probably already dead and everything. At least he kept his word. The door. It's open. We're free. Enough. We have to leave this place. The final game is over. To the past. Goodbye. Oh my god. That's a get. That's, 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 why is she, why is she looking all, I mean, she, I guess she's looking back at her friends, you know? That's crazy, man. That is absolutely insane. I wonder if she's really going to be okay with it. I mean, she, she was like clinging to me, man. I mean, she, she's definitely not going to be my girlfriend after this, man. To the games, Sarah. Goodbye. I will carry the weight of this bunker in my soul forever until I die. I can only pray that I won't walk alone. Cruel end. A single innocent soul. Now what happens if I save like three of these? What if... Could you... Oh, no, 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 no. What if there's a secret ending? What if I save everyone except Rosa? How dastardly would that be? Oh, I'm doing it. <laughs> Pretty sure that Lisa is not hard at all. Gross. I hope she's not hard. That would be kind of disgusting. So this is gonna be so weird. This is so weird how we're saving everyone but the, the the person we should be saving. This is so weird. But I bet you, I bet you, it's actually a, like a classified ending. I wonder what the mask is gonna say about this. Ooh, man. What if it's that heartless? Saving all the people that had something to do with it, but not the one that didn't. Oh my god. I just killed. Yeah, we know. Ah, I'm out. Ah. Okay, don't bust nuts that early. Uh, I'm. Huh? No. Oh. Uh, I'm alive. I can. Huh? Yeah, you can breathe. It's called being, you know, here still with us. You know what's crazy? How everyone's like so shocked about this. Imagine what Rose is thinking. She must be like, "What the hell did I do?" <laughs> Like, could you imagine? Like, what did I do? All these people know what they did. She's like freaking in, in out of the loop. Rosa, you were the only innocent one. But there was no way that you could look you would look at me the same if I let you live after killing the others. <laughs> but we didn't kill anyone but her. 
<laughs> my one and only true friend. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Nothing? No reactions to what I've done? You better not say shit, I saved you! Well, I guess it's only fair. I chose to abandon and save, so not everyone lived. You've made your choices. As the final game has ended, you're free to go. I almost have expected him to keep us in here. At least he's staying true to his word. Well, the, um, the grid's gone. So, can we go now? <laughs> oh my god. The door's wide open. For all we know, it could be another trap, another chance to kill us. I've gone through hell and dragged my friends into the void. I wouldn't know how to react at this point. Goodbye, Ness. Okay, we, we saw this. Um, hell, I don't even know how my friends will stay around stay around me after what I did. Will they lock me away? Wherever it takes me, I will walk and bear my cross right. Oh damn, my blood-soaked hands will burn in the depths of hell where I belong. Again, he's so accepting of this. <laughs> Alright, cruel end. Blood on your hands. So I suppose it would probably be the same if I saved a few. I, I, that's weird. Did I get the same end? Cruel end, blood on your hands. I'm pretty sure I didn't get the same this the same ending, right? Was it was it called this? When I saved just Rosa? I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Alright guys, but let me know what you thought about this game, about, or I guess about the endings, you know what I'm saying? We kind of messed around a little bit, uh, I messed around with the, uh, you know, with the endings. Let me know if you, if you think there should have been, like, kind of like a secret or, or some sort of end, you know, some sort of, like, special end for this one, because I feel like this is such an unlikely thing to think of, you know what I'm saying? Like, why would you even do this? <laughs> it's such, it's like such, it's so ass backwards, it's not even funny. Um, but, you know, I mean, it was interesting, I wanted to see maybe if she kind of had an easter egg in there, you know, Michaela Laws. Or if the ending would be different, like if the mask would react different, I feel like he would, he reacted the same way as if we were to have uh, taken out a few extras, you know what I'm saying, like maybe if we killed off Xavier and, uh, and Lisa alongside, you know, and, and saved Rosa and Peter, you know what I'm saying? And speaking of that, let me know who you think, who, if you had to choose, because uh, I have a few other thoughts on these endings, so if, like based on what we've seen, if you had to choose, uh, like you couldn't just save Rosa. Who would be the most guilty? Um, I'd like you to pick at least two to make it hard, because I feel like there's one that's really obvious, at least for me, and I'll explain it, and I'll talk about it, but let me know what your personal thoughts would be. Like, if you had to pick at least two other people that you would say really had the most, you know, I guess, chance to save her, uh, who would they be? You know what I'm saying? Who would they be? For me, personally, I feel as though, um, I would say Lisa and Xavier. The reason I say this, and I, I don't say Peter, even though Peter had a fairly open opportunity, pretty much as open as everyone else, you know what I'm saying? Especially considering, you know, he's actually witnessing this guy with this girl that he knows is not, I mean, I'm assuming he knows that's his sister, right? Um, and he knows that she's not, you know, I'm assuming he knows, that, you know, that Peter knows uh, Chris's family, you know, he knows that this guy is not with this chick and that, that, that she doesn't know him and he's just looking suspicious. So yeah, you can make that argument, but I feel like there's such a thing of being, you know, just so shocked that you're just like shocked in a submission. You know what I'm saying? Like there's so much fear running through you. And I feel like, you know, based on how Peter was and how he was describing it, he was really, he really was a coward. Like he was a to as an absolute bitch, to be honest. I mean, but can you really blame him for being an absolute bitch? Like you can't, you can't be sent, you know, if you were in court, right? Imagine being in court. You can't be like, you're sentenced to life in prison for being an absolute bitch. You know, <laughs> they're not going to do that, you know, but at the same, in the same light, you, the, the other people couldn't be either because they didn't really do anything negative except for Xavier, who was in a legitimate drug deal at the time. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I feel like, you know, of the other two people that could have spoken up and done something, you know, Xavier just kind of ran her off, uh, and everything, and I feel like the the most honestly, the person I feel is most to blame is Lisa because she actually had a conversation with the girl. I like how could you, you know? I'm assuming she said something that would have tipped you off that something was wrong. You know what I'm saying? And she's running. Um, you know, I'm assuming you have my phone number. I mean, call me. You know, do something. You know, um, something like that. You know, I don't know. I mean, that's just how I feel. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know who you would have had. To, if you had to choose, who would you have chosen? You know what I'm saying? Um, and another thought on the endings. I'm sorry I'm speaking a lot, but this is kind of like really interesting is that um, I feel as though 
the true ending is honestly the one we actually got. I mean, not only was it the good ending, but it was also kind of the true ending in my opinion because it was the only one, if you if you remember, um, that Sarah actually made a comment on saying how she was really proud of what we did. So I'm actually kind of like happy that our, on our first playthrough of the game, our first ending was the good one. Um, despite the one where we died because I lost the game, but we just lost the game. Yeah, even I died in that one. So I'm not, you know, that's not really an ending in my book. I mean, it is technically a part of it, but it like, it's not one of the real final endings. You know what I'm saying? There's still more of the game to be played. Uh, so I'm really happy about that. I feel like, you know, she didn't make a comment. I, I honestly thought she'd appear again and say that she was disappointed or she wasn't happy with what we did. Um, or any of that. So really interesting. You know what I'm saying? I really liked the game. Uh, I thought it was a, it was definitely really immersive and I, I really enjoyed it. So I, I know based on what you guys were saying in the finale, you all loved it. So that was really awesome stuff. You know, really big shout out, big applause to Michaela Laws. Really, really great game. Um, so what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be going through all the different characters one by one. Leave your comments down below. Which character would you like to see me do first? Gross. Uh, what I mean is <laughs> which character would you like to see me play through first, you know what I'm saying? Because we're going to be going through everybody, Rosa, Lisa, Peter, and Xavier, and we're going to see what their dialogue options are. Kind of like this one. This was kind of like an experiment, you know, seeing how the other endings played out as well as playing around with the game a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I didn't intend to do this one, uh, but uh, I figured it'd be pretty funny to try anyway. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully you enjoyed. Definitely make sure you rate the video what you think it deserved. If you did enjoy, consider sharing the video as well, whether it's like Facebook, Twitter, with your friends, family, uh, work or at school or really whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's one of the biggest ways you can actually personally, uh, help the Sage family grow every single day. It's just a direct contribution. It really, really helps out a lot. So if you think the video deserves to be seen, share it wh with whoever you think might want to see it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, speaking of that, if you want to become a Sage in training, make sure you subscribe today. This has been Mr. Bazy, your favorite Sage, and I'll see you in the next video.